Now, y'all going to sit here and honestly say that the fix wasn't in against Devin Haney last night, right? Everybody in the boxing circuit said that the man was going to get robbed, right? That um that, that Loma was going to one to him. And um, a lot of y'all said that, that Devin Haney was going to get knocked out because, you know, he missed the glass Joe Cheney, right? Not only that, but as I alluded to in my last video, but I'm going to show it again here just to put crystal clear emphasis around this point. I need y'all to pay attention to this, okay? After round four, all right, Devin Haney was already up three rounds to one. A lot of y'all said that Lomachenko won the last part of the fight, won, won, the, won round seven through through 12 because that's what made it a robbery, right? Let's look at it from y'all perspective, okay? DraftKings had it on the board after the fourth round that Lomachenko was not a clear favorite. How was Lomachenko the clear favorite after four rounds? I need y'all to put that into a nice frame of reference, you understand? Listen, bro, the fix was in against Devin Haney, bro. You feel me? So I miss me with the duel, you know, um, that Haney robbed Loma. They wanted Loma Shinko to win the fight. They wanted Loma Shinko to, to keep all of the belts at top rank. And, and, and last but not least, but this is not my final point, but this is my final point about um, the poor showmanship um, of not only the fans, but ESPN as well. You dig? ESPN, that was horrible. That was terrible. You feel me? I supported Devin Haney. Not only did I support Devin Haney, I supported Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia too. A lot of y'all just do that stupid streaming, dog. You feel me? And y'all the ones that's really hurting the sports. Not only is the stupid fans hurting the sports, you feel me? But y'all not even supporting the fighters that y'all want to see lose. I wanted to see Javante Tank Davis lose. So I paid for it, top dollar for it. You feel me? And I paid for this fight. But ESPN... For some strange reason, had it all staticky and shaky, and, 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 and it wasn't even streaming right. It was the worst streaming performance I ever had in my life. So I have every right to be passionate and emotional about this. I have money invested in this thing. You feel me? But at the same time, bro, that's what it is, bro. Haney overcame all of that, dog. All of the hatred, all of the um the the the, the swings and things. You feel me? Y'all wanted to see this man lose. He didn't lose. And now, you know what I'm saying? This man got to get it on the back end. Too. Yeah, this man got to take two L's. It's double jeopardy for, for, for Devin Haney. You feel me? But it is what it is, though, bro. Let me tell you something, dog. All the great ones went through this, dog. Every last great one. Floyd went through it. Mike went through it. Um, Sugar Ray Lennon went through it. You feel me? Sugar Ray Robinson went through it. Joe Lewis went through it. We could go down a long list, dog. Uh, Roberto Duran went through it more than more than multiple times. You feel me? Uh, Marvin Hagler went through it. In one of the biggest what y'all call robberies, Marvin Hagler retired off of that one, dog. But what I'm saying is this, bro, is that the great ones always find a way to bounce back, bro. They always snap back. You dig? You feel me? So that's what I'm looking forward to, bro. You know what I'm saying? Devin, you could just go ahead and move up, bro. Dominate 140, dog. Take all your frustration, all your pain, everything that you got to gain is at 140. You heard me? Leave 135 behind, bro. So there's nothing else more for you to prove at, one, uh, at 135. You already cleared it out. You put your Hall of Fame stamp on the 135 division. It's signed, sealed. And delivered. It's, it's, it's already in the record books, bro. You stamped us a Hall of Fame off 135 alone. Everything from this point on, Devin, is done but pure profit, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Run them M's up. You see? You, you, you dig what I'm saying to you? Run them victories up. Run them belts up. Run your legacy up. At the end of the day, bro, we already see where you're going. Your trajectory is way higher than all the rest of these bozos. You feel me? Because Shakur got his day. Tank got his day. They all got their day coming, bro. You survived your, your, your day. You, you see what I'm saying? Who's to say that, that they're going to survive their day? Because everybody get their day.